children and welcome to our chess school online. I'm very grateful that you can join us. I'm coming from PCU Nairobi West and my name is Alice Oguera. I'm not alone, I'm here with one of my friends, Baraka. <laughs> yes, Charlie, we're right here. How are you? I am very well, Charlie. Good, good. We are going to miss Papa. Yes, we will. Yes, but hopefully he will join us next time. Eh? Mm -hmm. So with that, Baraka, we are going to put our hands together. Mm -hmm. We close our eyes. Mm -hmm. What else should we do? Uh, bow down our heads. Very good. And then we pray. Mm -hmm. Our heavenly Father. We worship you for your mighty God. You are king of kings. You are a good God. Thank you for this day that you have given unto us. And we ask, Father, you help us to trust and obey you. And you may forgive us all our sins, that you may teach us the way, the right way of you that you may follow. We thank you. As we have come, we may hear from you. We listen and help us to understand, and most of all, that we may be able to do what you want us to do. We ask, Lord, that you start with us, and even end with us, for the honor and glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray, we all say, Amen. 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 And our children, I hope you are ready wherever you are, because we are going to praise the Lord. And Maraka, mm -hmm. you know this song we say, God is so good. Yes, so God is a good God. Oh yes, God is a good God. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You are very king. Thank so you. So you are going to lead us in that song, Maraka, please. Thank you. So boys and girls, we are going to sing together with Charlie. Yes. So as we sing to this song, eh? God is a good God. So Charlie has joined us mm -hmm. to sing God is a good God. God, God is, is a, a good, good God. God. Yes, he is. God is a good God. Yes, he is. And God is a good God. Yes, he is. God is a good God. Yes, he is. What does he do? He lifts me up, up, up. He turns me round. He sets my feet on a higher ground. What does he do? He lifts me up, up, up. He turns me round. He sets my feet on a higher ground, and God is a caring God. Yes, He is. God is a caring God. Yes, He is. And God is a caring God. Yes, He is. God is a caring God. Yes, He is. What does He do? He lifts me up, up, up. He turns me round. He sets my feet on a higher ground. What does he do? He lifts me up, up, up. He turns me round. He sets my feet on a higher ground. And now, children, I'm going to check whether Baraka is aware of what is coming next. Mm -hmm. Baraka, mm -hmm. could you tell us what is coming next? It must be the Bible craft. Bible craft, not yet. Not yet for the Bible craft. If not Bible craft, hmm. then it must be the Bible story. Well done, Baraka. It's time for the Bible, Bible story. story. So children, let us wait and see who is telling the Bible story. Hello boys and girls, I hope you are very well and you are ready to learn this day. And I also hope that you have prepared your Bible, a pen and a book for those who can be able to read and write. Our last week's story was about Job, how Job was tested by God, but he trusted in God and we saw how God later on blessed him and returned more than what he had before. So our today's Bible story is coming from the book of Ezra, chapter 1 to chapter 4, and also Nehemiah, chapter 1 to chapter 6. And our title of the Bible story is God Frees His People. And the theme, or what we are going to be learning, is about rejoicing way. Now, 
I would like to take you back a little bit about Israelites. Israelites were the people who were taken by God from Egypt and he loved them very, very much and took them to the promised land whereby they would have everything that they needed, even food, they had a, a good land and everything that they needed. But do you know what boys and girls? After that, they became very disobedient to God. They forgot about God. They started worshiping idols. They started copying bad things of the neighbors and God was not happy with them. And because God punishes us when we do that, something happened to them. Now what happened? They were taken from their country and they were taken to another country and they became exiles. Exiles are when people become like slaves. So they were no longer living in their country. They went to the neighboring country and they started working there as slaves. And they stayed there for so long and they were so sad and they were not happy at all. But now in this country, it came up a time for a king by the name Cyrus. Cyrus was a good king and God used him. And I can imagine God put a thought in his mind. And he started thinking, these people, they don't belong here. I'm going to send them back to their country. And what he did, he asked his own people to give them things like silver, gold, livestock, and food so that they can go back to their country. And that's what happened, boys and girls. And now Israelites were so happy. They were rejoicing. I can imagine they were clapping hands because they were going back home. And as they went back home, the king gave them so much that they could go and start even rebuilding God's temple. A temple is like our church where we worship God. So they were happy that they will now build the temple and they can worship God. As they were going, they were singing, they were rejoicing, and then they collected some money. This is through the priest and the people who are officials and now they started building the, the temple of the Lord. So they started with the altar. Altar is the holy place whereby we go and give God our thanksgiving, our offerings, and they were very happy. And boys and girls, I'm going to demonstrate a bit on how happy they were. Are you ready? And now children, Israelites were so happy and they had instruments like trumpet, like cymbals, and I can imagine they were praising God like this. And now children, they were so happy. I can imagine them dancing the way sometimes you dance when you have a party, and they were so happy. So they started building God's temple, and something else happened later alone, and that one we'll cover it on our next story. So what are we learning today? We are learning that God is always faithful and God wants us to rejoice. It's not God's will that we are sad. And for us to rejoice in God, we must be obedient. We must follow God's command. And that will bring us to a memory verse, which comes from the book of Psalms 138 and verse 5. The Bible says, May they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. We repeat again Psalm 138 and verse 5. The Bible says, May they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Now, boys and girls, can we always rejoice in the Lord? He is happy when we sing to him, when we are grateful, and at home or at school, we are able to play the instrument. Please use them to praise the Lord. God bless you. Boys and girls, it's now time for Did You Know? And now I'm going to check whether you are following the story. I have only three questions for you. 
Question number one. Who had taken Israelite to exile? Who had taken Israelite to exile? A, King Silas. B, King Nebuchadnezzar. C, King Darius. And the answer is King Nebuchadnezzar. Question number two. Why were Israelites taken to exile? Why were Israelites taken to exile? A, because they were proud. B, they were disobedient to God. C, they went for a holiday. And the answer is B, they were disobedient to God. Now the third question and the last one is about true or false. King Cyrus was a Jew. I repeat the question. King Cyrus was a Jew. Is it true or false? And the answer is false. Thank you so much for your participation. May God bless you. Thank you, teacher, for that wonderful story. It was really, really educative. So, Baraka, mm -hmm. what did you learn from the story? I learned that God rescued his people from captivity. Yes, and captivity means exile or in slavery, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. And why were they there in the first place? I think it's because of their disobedience. Very good. You are a very smart boy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Baraka. So we have learned that God, he is very merciful. He had punished his own people, but this time he was calling them back. And Baraka is the same mm -hmm. with me and you and all the other people. Mm -hmm. God is calling us to him. Mm -hmm. Yes. And with that, because God is so good to us, we must rejoice and praise him. Mm -hmm. So me and Baraka, we are going to sing the song which says, Rejoice in the Lord. Always. Always. And again. I say rejoice. Yes, and you children also, you can join us. Mm -hmm. So Baraka, you can start us off, please. Thank you. So boys and girls, we sing to that song. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Boys and girls, we are excited. I am excited to join Teacher Peter in our Bible craft. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to our Bible craft section, where we craft God's Word. In our last lesson, we learned about Job and the tribulations and the hardships that he was able to go through. And we made some nice, nice, the get well soon cards. And so boys and girls, today we have learned about God freeing his people. And because of that, we are told that the people made some celebrations and through the celebrations, there are some instruments that they used. And so today, we are going to make the symbols. So we are going to make things that look the, like this so that when they are hit together, they make some noise, some very good sound in celebration. So these people, they use the symbols to celebrate uh, God's faithfulness. And so for you to be able to make these symbols, what do you need? So we'll be able to create space that we'll be working from. So make sure that you have space that you are working from. So this is what we are making. So for you to make these symbols, you need to have two plastic plates. If they are, you do not have the plastic plates, you can as well use 
the um, uh, paper plates. You also need to have two uh, strips of paper that have already cut out. Then you need to have a pair of scissors. And other than a pair of scissors, make sure that you have a stapler with you and the marker pens so that you will be able to decorate nicely. And if you have uh, crayons and any other colors in your home, you can as well make them very colorful. So it's now time to work on our symbols. Yeah, so we create space as we had said, then work with uh, the materials that we have all just mentioned, the paper plates, the strip of paper, the scissors, the stapler, and the marker pens. So it's now to, time to work on the symbols. So you begin by decorating, just simple decorations. I'm using the color black, a color black marker pen to make sure that my symbols are nicely done. So up there I've used color black. Then on this other side, I use again color black. Color black on this other symbol. I have like one more to go. So right there. Then we'll also be able to use the color red. Color red, I'll use it in the middle or at the center. So that way. So now that I have decorated my symbols, and remember that uh, uh, you can see the patterns that I've used. You can also use any other patterns that you have or that you'd want to, use, to work with. So the strip of paper, you pick your strip of paper, then right there, the stapler, and you are able to staple it together onto the paper plate. And make sure that we are making the handles, the handles for the symbol. So here we are, then we are able to, to put these into place, you staple, and then you staple. And as you do that, you keep on putting your symbol into shape. So we cut off that bit. So we have already done one. So we are working on the second one. So again, with your pair of, uh, the, with the pair of scissors we had already cut, now with the stapler, we put there and we also put another staple over there. Then we fold the handle. Then once you've done that, pick your stapler and put it into place. It's quite some easy work. Then pick your scissors and give it shape. And so here are the symbols that we've just worked on. And before we finish, boys and girls, ensure that you write your name on the symbols. My name is Teacher Peter, so I'll write here Teacher Peter. Teacher Peter, then on this other one, I write the symbols, the symbols. It's a musical instrument that was used in celebration of the people who were coming back from exile. And so here we have the symbols that we've just done. And here are the ones that we had already done earlier on. And so if you wanted them to make some sound, and if they are made out of steel, when you hit them together, they make some beautiful musical sound. And so boys and girls, as always, we are excited to see your work. If you want us to see your work of these symbols, and these symbols, please send your work to this number that is appearing on the screen right now. Thank you, and God bless you. And now, children, we have come to the end of our today's lesson. But before we go, I'd like to hear from Baraka. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is your take home, Baraka? I have learned mm. that for you to be free, you need to depend on God. Very good. We all need to depend on God. And God is calling all of us that we turn to him. So we are going to close with a word of prayer. Baraka, what do we do when we want to pray? Put our hands together. Mm -hmm. Close our eyes. Yes. Bow down. And, and then we pray. Thank you, Baraka. Let's all pray.
be. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your lesson today. You are a merciful God, and you are calling all of us to come to you. May we always rejoice and praise you for being our God. Help us as little children, as teachers, as parents, and all the people that we may love you with all our hearts, our minds, and soul, and strength. May you also help us to teach others, especially those who don't know you. We ask, Father, that you let us walk in the right way so that when you are looking down on us, you may see us as your good children. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray we all say, Amen. Amen. And now may the grace of, of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. And before we go, children, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember to like our Facebook page. You can also follow us on TikTok. And remember to share, share, and share. Very good. May you have a wonderful week. God bless you. And remember, stay, stay safe. safe. Bye-bye.